in Christ Church, London, under the leadership of Rev. Godwin Ajegbu, invites you to our power service. Deliverance, healing, restoration and salvation. Are you broken or oppressed? Come and be partaker of free salvation. Our service times are Monday Deliverance Service, time 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Friday, Bible Teaching and Prayer. 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. and Sunday service, Holy Ghost Move, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Come and receive power to overcome in life. For more information please call us on the following number. 0742948 Or email. Rev. Godwin at dominionchristchurchlondon.co.uk or dominionchristchurch at yahoo.co.uk Trains and Buses Station, Alperton Station, Wembley Central Station, Wembley Park Station, Hangar Lane Station, and Harlesden Station. Welcome once again to the Dominion Christ Church television broadcast. My name is David McKivitt and I'm excited to be here with you today as I am every Saturday because I know that my God is a good God and God has got something good for you. Today can be a day for your miracle, for your healing, for your deliverance. I believe something is going to happen in your life as you watch this television broadcast. As I said, this broadcast is brought to you by the Dominion Christ Church. The address is on your screen now. It's Unit 29, Abbey Industrial Estate, Woodside Avenue, Mount Pleasant, Wembley, HA01UR. Make a note of that address. It is a church where the power of God is moving, where miracles are taking place, where people are getting healed, where people are being set free, and people are growing in the Christian faith. So make a note of that address. You say to me, Pastor McKivitt, I don't live in the London area. Well, maybe you don't, but you never know when you may be visiting and maybe you know someone is Engl in, in England and you think to yourself, well, let me tell them about that church because we would love to see you there. Hey, and talking about that, if you live in the London area, this Friday, the 25th of March and Sunday, the 27th of March, we are having our special Good Friday and Easter Sunday service and you do not want to miss it. I'll tell you, we have some young people there that know how to sing, they know how to worship, they know how to praise God, and the man of God himself will be there. Um, Reverend Goodwin, who is a senior pastor, I'm here to represent him. He is a man of God that is greatly used in the miracle ministry, and he will be there praying and ministering to people. So if you live in the London area, make a note of that address and come along to our Easter convention, uh, Good Friday at 7 o'clock. I will be preaching on Good Friday and I would love to see you there at Easter Sunday service at 10.30. Come along and let us join together as we lift up the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Come expecting your miracle. And if you have a prayer request, there are three telephone numbers that will be coming on your screen. You can make a note of those telephone numbers. The last one here, 07778-690931 is my number. You can make a note of that. You can phone up. Of course, I will not be answering the phone now because I'm doing a live broadcast. But if you phone up, text me, I'll get back to you. There are other numbers on your screen now and there are people right now waiting by those telephones to pray for you, to minister to you, to counsel you and to help you in your Christian life. If you have a need, we are going to pray for your miracle. And if you don't have a prayer request, well, make a note of those numbers anyway because it may well be that sometime in the future you will need prayer and we will always be there to pray for you 
but we will not always be on the air. So make a note of those telephone numbers so that you can contact us. Today I'm going to go to the Word of the Living God and I'm going to be reading a well-known verse of Scripture that is found in the New Testament. I will be reading Mark chapter 5. Mark chapter 5 and I'm going to read from the 25th verse. Now I read from the King James Version and this is what it says. And a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years and had suffered many things of many physicians and had spent all she had but was nothing bettered but rather grew worse. When she had heard of Jesus, came in the press behind and touched his garment and she said, if I may touch but his clothes, I shall be made whole. And straight away the fountain of her blood was dried up and she felt in her body that she had been healed of the plague. And Jesus, immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned to him about the press and said, Who touched my clothes? And his disciples said unto him, Seest thou the multitude thronginly? And sayest thou, Who touched me? And he looked around to see her that had done this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him and told him all the truth. And he said unto her, Daughter, thy faith have made thee whole, go in peace. The subject I want to speak on today in this short broadcast is when you have come to the end of your tether. When you've come to the end of your tether, that is an old English phrase, and it means when you've come to the end of your rope. Or we could say, when you've come to the end of yourself. What we mean is, in the old days, people, you, and they still do today, if they've got, a, if they've got an animal like a, a bullock, or, or even a, a goat, sometimes they will tie a rope around that goat's neck, and they will put a stake in the ground so that the, um, the goat or the, or the bullock can move around, but they can only go as far as the rope will allow him. The, the animal may want to go further, but they can only go as far as the rope will allow. My wife comes from an island in the West Indies called Barbados. And several years ago, I was in Barbados, and I went out on my mother-in-law's land. My mother-in-law is no longer alive. She died at the age of 101, two years ago. But we went out on the land, and the people that owned the land opposite, they had this, they had this male bull, they had this bull. And when the bull saw me, he wanted to charge. He got his foot and he was rubbing his foot on the ground, his head went low, and he was ready to charge me. But he was tied, he had a rope round his neck, and he stake. And even though he wanted to get to me, he wanted to charge at me, he wanted to kill me, he could only go as far as the rope would allow him to. Do you ever feel in your life that you would like to do more? Are you a pastor watching this program and you think, oh, I'd love to do more? Maybe you're just a, a, a Christian watching this program and you think, I'd want to do more for the Lord. I want to get on. I want to further my career. I try, but there's so much I want to do. But you've come to the end of your rope and you can't go no further. You've tried everything, but you've come to the end of that rope. And that rope that could be stopping you it may be sickness, it may be financial problems, you want to do more, but the finances stop you. You want to do more, but the sickness in your body is stopping you. And maybe there are people around you that are hindering you, that are holding you back. Or maybe there is a demonic attack on your life that is holding you back from what you want to do. There is a rope that is tying you down. Well, I've got news for you today. Every rope that has held you back 
is going to come off in the name of Jesus. Today is your day for freedom. Today is your day for healing. Today is your day for a miracle. Today is the day when every barrier that has held you back, every rope, whether it be a rope of hindrance from people, a rope of sickness, a rope of disease, immigration problems, family problems, whatever it is, that rope is going to come off because today is your day for a miracle. Today is your day for healing. Today is your day for deliverance. Let me get back to the story of the woman with the issue of blood. This woman wanted to be healed. She did everything. She tried every doctor that she could try and they used the best medication of her day but rather grew worse. She spent all she had and if she wanted to try other doctors, she couldn't. She had no money. She did everything she could to get over her problem, but the situation got worse. Are you in that situation today? You tried everything to get your immigration sorted out. You've done everything to further your career. You want to go to college. You, you, you've done everything to make your church grow. There's so much. You've done everything to save your marriage. But it seems that every situation is getting worse. I meet people all, all that. I meet people like that all the time. They want their marriage to work, but their husband is not working. He's being, he's being unfaithful. He's chasing after other women. Or it could be the wife that is doing it. He's generally the man, but it can be the wife as well. You've done everything to bring up your children, and now they're on drugs. And you've done everything you can, but it seems that the situation has got worse. So maybe you're watching this programme today, and you're addicted to drugs, you're addicted to pornography, you're addicted to alcohol, and you want to come off, you tried everything to come off, but it seems that the situation has got worse. Are you in that situation today, where you've tried everything, and now there's nothing left to try? You've come to the end of yourself. I want to tell you, friends, today is your day for a miracle. This woman had tried everything. She tried all the doctors, but there's one thing that she hadn't tried. And I want you to try that today. She hadn't tried Jesus. You know, we used to sing a song. I was saved in a West Indian Pentecostal church. And we used to sing a song that says, When you tried everything, and everything has failed, try Jesus. When you've tried everything, and everything has failed, try Jesus. You've tried the doctors. You've tried the prophets. You tried the social workers, you tried Alcoholic Anonymous, you tried everything, you tried the solicitors, you tried getting your family to help you, but you've come to the end of yourself. I say turn to Jesus, because when man can do no more, God can. Man may not be able to help you, but there is a God in heaven that can do all things. The doctors could not help this woman. They used the best of their knowledge. They used the best medications of her day. But I want to tell you, there is a God that can do all things. There is no sickness that he cannot heal. There is no need that he cannot meet. There is no problem that he cannot solve. And that woman, she turned to Jesus Christ. She desired to change. But then she tried the only one that could change. I get prayer requests all the time. Not only from the television programme, but not only from the, not only from the television programme, but also from my radio broadcast, from Facebook, from other things. And... Um, I get meet people all the time that have come to the end of their tether. They say to me, Pastor McGivitt, I don't know what to do next. I don't know where to go next. Now on the board it says when you come to the end of your tether, but that that should that should be that should be spelled T E T H E R. T E T H E R Tether. Tether. And they've they've tried everything and they say, Pastor McGivitt, I don't know what to do. Well, I want to tell you, friends, there is a God in heaven 
and he can solve every problem and he can work every, mir every miracle. I wonder if you come to the end of your tether. This woman tried everything and I do not blame her. I believe that we should try. There's nothing wrong if you're sick in trying the doctors. And you should try the doctors. You should go to the doctors. You should take your medication. I've got friends of mine in the ministry that are doctors. My wife was a qualified nurse. Thank God for doctors. I've been under the doctors myself. I was only at the doctors a few weeks ago. I'm not against doctors. Go to the doctors. But I tell your friends, also go to God as well. And if you believe you're healed as a result of this broadcast, if you are on medication, do not stop taking the medication until your doctor takes you off. If you believe God has healed you, go to the doctors and get it confirmed and he will take you off. A, a doctor will not put you on medication if you don't need it. So well, if you believe you're healed, we're going to pray for you. And if you believe that you're healed, phone any one of those numbers that are on your screen. Somebody will pray for you. My number is there. You can pray. My number there. Oh, 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 0777 is my number. There's other numbers there. Someone will pray for you. And uh, when, you, when you believe that you're healed, go to the doctors, get it confirmed. I believe today is going to be your day for a miracle. We should do what we can. Hey, if you are studying to get a, G a B GCSE, a BA, an MA, a doctor's degree, don't just pray and say, I'm leaving it to God. You've got a responsibility to study. You've got a responsibility to do your research. Do all you can and let God do the rest. This woman done the right thing. She tried the doctors. She'd done what she could, but then she tried Jesus. Hallelujah. We should do all we can. Joshua marched around Jericho. He did what he could, but then God did, did what he couldn't do. He brought down the walls of Jericho. Naaman had to do what he could do and go in the river Jordan and dip seven times. And when he did what he could do, God did the rest. Jesus told the disciples to move the stone. He didn't move it himself when Lazarus was dead. He told the disciples to move the stone. And when they moved the stone, they got the miracle. Jesus told the people to fill it up with water. They filled it up with water. And when they filled the, when they filled the containers with water, Jesus turned the water into wine. We should do what we can do. This woman tried hard, but she'd come to the end of herself. Hey, but I come here today, this Saturday evening, with a message. When you've come to the end of yourself, you've come to the beginning of your miracle. When you've come to the end of yourself, the children of Israel were going through the wilderness and they came to the Red Sea and there was no way back. And there was no way forward. But I've got a message for you. Here's the message. If God led you to it, he will lead you through it. I say that again. If God led you to it, he will lead you through it. And when you've come to the Red Sea of your life, if you're in a ministry and you've come to that Red Sea and it seems you've come to the end of yourself, the God that led you to it will lead you through it. You're going to go through the problems. You're going to go through the trials and you are going to come out more than conquerors through him that loved us. Because when you've come to the end of yourself, you've come to the beginning of your miracle. When you've come to the end of your tether, you've come to the beginning of your miracle. Oh, friends, I'm, there was a friend of mine in the ministry called Pastor Addy. He, he, he's a solicitor. His business wasn't doing too well, but he carried on serving God. He carried on praying. And he, they hold so much rent. And he carried on praying, he carried on seeking God. I want to tell your friends, whatever mess you're in, whatever problem you're in, don't turn your back on the living God. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God 
and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. He carried on pastoring. He carried on serving. He carried on praying. He carried on doing his best. And one day the landlord came to see him and said that you owe all this money in rent. He said, well, I haven't got it at the moment. He said, well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to reduce the rent. And he said, well, that's okay, but I, haven't, I can't pay it off. And the, the landlord said, don't worry, I will wipe the slate clean. I will, I will say you don't owe that money no more. I'm releasing you of it. God worked a miracle because he was faithful. When you've come to the end of yourself, you've come in to the beginning of your miracle and your miracle is coming now as you listen. Oh friends, we need to learn about Jesus. We need to learn about the ABC of God. You say, what do you mean about the ABC of God? Well, let me tell you about the ABC of Jesus Christ. A, he is the Alpha and he's the uh, Almighty, he's the one who is able. B, he is the bread of life. C, he is the Christ, the Son of the living God. D, he is the deliverer. He is the eternal, unchanging one. F, he is the friend and publican of sinners. H, he is, G, I should say, he is God. H, he is the healer. I, he is the intercessor. J, he is the justifier. K, he is the king of kings and the lord of lords. L, he is the lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world. N, his name is above every name. O, he is the overcomer. Priest, P, he is our high priest after the order of Melchizedek. Q, he quickens, and that word quickens means brings to life. He brings life into your situation. He brings life. R, he is the redeemer. T, he is the great teacher. U, he is the unlimited one. He has unlimited power, unlimited knowledge, unlimited love, and his merit is unlimited. V, he is the vine in whom the believers abide. W, he is the winner of every battle. He, he's going to win every battle for us. X, he's the x-ray of our heart, so he knows the thoughts and the intents of our heart. Why? He's your everything. Why for your? He's your healer. He's your deliverer. He's your victory. He's your miracle. He's the one that when you come to the end of yourself is going to work a miracle because the God that led you to it is the God that's going to lead you through it. Today is your day for a miracle. And Z is Zion's Redeemer and we call him Jesus. He's the King of Kings, and he's the Lord of Lords, and he's the great I am. He's the mighty God. Oh, friends, I come with a positive. Today, you might have reached the end, but it's not your end. It's your beginning. You may have come to the end of yourself. You may feel like giving up, but I've got a message from God for you. Today is not your end. Today is the beginning of your miracle. It is the beginning of your deliverance. It's the beginning of your victory. And you can phone any one of those numbers right now in the name of Jesus. I'm just going to say a quick word of prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, I pray for everyone that is watching this program now. I feel the power of God going through that television. I feel the power of God touching that woman, touching that man, touching that person that is watching that television. And Lord, I claim a miracle in our life. I claim healing for that sick body. There's a person with arthritis. There's a person that's got pain in their leg. That pain is going in the name of Jesus. God is working a miracle in your life. You are receiving healing. You are receiving deliverance. Lord, I pray for everyone that has got immigration problem. Everyone that is suffering from fear. I command fear, anxiety and depression to go in the name of Jesus. Oh, praise God. I feel good. Oh, I, I'm limited to how long I can pray. But you phone those numbers and, spend, and I will spend more time praying for you. Somebody is on those phones now. 
friends, we've come to the end of this broadcast. Let me remind you, come along to the Dominion Christ Church, the address on your church, Unit 29, Happy Industrial Estate, Woodside Avenue, Mount Pleasant, Wembley, HA01UR. Please come along tomorrow, 10.30, Make a special effort to get to our Easter convention starting this Friday at 7 o'clock and Easter Sunday at 10.30. I'm there preaching. The man of God, the great man of God that God uses, Reverend Goodwin, will be there to minister and to pray for you. All right, friends, I look forward to seeing you again. But we've come to the end of this broadcast. And until we meet again, this is Pastor David McKivitt. Standing in for Reverend Goodwin. I've just got a few more seconds to remind you of our Easter convention that's coming up um, this Friday. Be, the, our young people are ready. We've got some wonderful young people in that church that are going to sing and they're going to worship God. And I tell you, come along and lift up the name of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Well, we have come to the end of this broadcast now. And until we meet again, this is David McKivitt saying unto you that no matter what the problem may be, Jesus is the answer. In Christ Church, London, under the leathership of Rev. Godwin Ajegbu, invites you to our power service, deliverance, healing, restoration and salvation. Are you broken or oppressed? Come and be partaker of free salvation. Our service times are Monday Deliverance Service, time 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Friday, Bible Teaching and Prayer, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. and Sunday Service, Holy Ghost Move, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Come and receive power to overcome in life. For more information please call us on the following number, 0742948 or email revgodwin at dominionchristchurchlondon.co.uk or dominionchristchurch at yahoo.co.uk Trains and Buses Station, Alperton Station, Wembley Central Station, Wembley Park Station, Hanger Lane Station, and Harlesden Station.